Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster, in the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Sorry, Stumpy. Guess I shut that door a little too hard, didn't I? Yes, yes. It's another headache you're giving me. Can I give you something for it? You can have it for nothing. <laughs> I oh, don't think Stumpy. a pill is what Stumpy needs, Henry. I have a feeling he'd uh, feel a lot better if he thought you'd given up that idea of fighting fires with us. Huh? Oh, Stumpy. We've gone over and over that. I'm old enough to look after myself. I know the ways and techniques backwards. I've even worked out in the drills and practiced with the equipment. Uh, by the way, this arrived for you earlier, pal. Oh, boy! It's that gas mask and air tank that I bought. <laughs> there it is. Where did you get that kind of money? I saved for a long time, believe me. So, you can see, Stumpy, I have a feeling that Henry is not about to give up the idea of fighting fires with the rangers. <laughs> I can see how he might have got carried away with the idea, Bill, but I can't see why you would encourage him the way you do. If you'd ever come out to a drill and watch him work, you'd understand. Henry's surprisingly quick at picking up the ideas and the methods. Drills and fires are two different things. Wow, look at this, Bill. That's a good-looking mask, pal. Good-looking. Man from Mars, if you ask me. Now, I'd appreciate a little quiet while I finish typing this report. <clears throat> well, Bill, uh, did you say you had some filing for me to do? And how, pal? The reports for last month are all in now from the tower station, just waiting to be taken care of. Now, uh, they're in this drawer. There. That ought to keep you busy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's what he ought to be doing. Running around after fires. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Henry. What time is it? Four o'clock. I almost forgot, isn't this the day we're invited to the Hansons for dinner? Why, so it is. Best news I've heard all day. Yeah. I think we better close up early and clean up a bit. After all, Mrs. Hanson's cooking deserves a fresh shirt any night. You can say that again. Let's get going. I thought you wanted to finish that report, Stumpy. <laughs> all right, you young whippersnapper. Never mind the tin wagon. Let's get going. I'm right behind you. I can't get over you just dropping in on us like you did, Claire. It's been so long since we've seen you. Well, I had an extra day off this week, and I've been meaning to come for months. Besides, I hadn't seen Susan's new dog. New? Goodness, we've had him so long now, he's a member of the family. I'll tell you, Claire, I don't know what Susan would do without him. Seeing eye dogs really are wonderful. I see them occasionally when I'm on duty at the hospital. Prince is her eyes, Claire. He never leaves her side. There. 
The salad is done. Now what can I do? Mm, let's see. Everything seems to be just about done now. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. If you like, you could start the coffee. Sure. Has the doctor said anything more about Susan's sight? The last time I saw you, you said that he wanted you to come for another examination. It was the same thing. No change. He says there isn't likely to be any change from now on either. It's so good to see how you and Ted are taking all this. Well, it took us a long time to get used to the thought that Susan would be blind. I can't tell you what strength God has given us to accept it. You don't have to tell me. I can see it. There. And the coffee's on. Uh, what time are the rangers supposed to get here? Oh, Ooh, any time now. Uh, I know you'll enjoy meeting them, Claire. They're wonderful people. So I've heard. You sure you won't stay for dinner now? All those men might like things evened up a bit. I wish I could, really. But, unfortunately, I've made other arrangements for dinner. Which reminds me, I'd better get home. I hope all goes well with your dinner tonight, Betty. Thanks again for your help, Claire. And stop in when you can stay longer. Tell your boss at the hospital to give you more time off. Way too much when we go to the Hansons. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> then I'm ready to turn in. I know what you mean. <laughs> oh. Hey, you two will be putting me to sleep with all that talk. Oh. You better stay awake, Bill. Somebody's got to drive. Yeah. Boy, what is it, Bill? I was just thinking of little Susan Hanson and that seeing-eye dog of hers. It's amazing, isn't it? It sure is. I've seen pets that, you know, followed their masters around and were real loving and all. But that dog... It's almost as though the dog knows he's Susan's eyes. Do dogs and other animals have any intelligence, Bill? Do they really think? That's a good question, pal. You saw tonight how much a dog can be taught... Almost to the point of making decisions. Sure seemed like it. I suppose most people would say it was just training, or what they call conditioning. But the problem in all this is the question about how we learn. If we learn things basically the same way a dog does, then I guess you'd have to say that animals have intelligence. Boy, I never stop being amazed at how much you know, Bill. <laughs> Stay in school, Henry, and pretty soon you can start telling me things. I'm surprised you didn't have some comment about us learning things like animals, Stumpy. Stumpy? <laughs> Looks like that old dog has decided to take a nap. Now he's been fed. <laughs> Fire buzzer. Uh, uh, Bill. Uh, just a minute, Henry. Uh, Hello, Tom. What's the trouble? Uh huh. How bad is it? Okay, Tom. I'll get the crews out there in the double. Goodbye. Is it a fire, Bill? It sure is, pal. Tom says it's spreading eastward. Toward Naughty Pine, huh? That's what it looks like. Uh, just a second, Henry. to get them here in a hurry. Bill? Yes? You remember what you said? About the next fire, I mean? You mean about you going out with the firefighting crews? Uh-huh. Yes, I remember, Henry. You sure you want to do it? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's get over to the station and start collecting the gear. 
There's a fire out there to fight. I guess this is as good a time as any to break you in. That wind is too strong. You can't seem to get ahead of the fire. He's getting closer to 95 all the time. Let's pull back, then. We'll set up a stand right at the edge of town. Hal, are the people in those houses along the edge of the woods evacuated yet? Now, the last of them are on their way, Bill. I got a small group of the men from the home organized to spray their houses with water. Good. Bill. This is Hanson. What are you doing here? We live right over there, Bill. Oh, of course. I've been so busy trying to figure out what to do with this fire that I didn't even notice where we were. Uh, you'd better get away from here while you can, Mrs. Hanson. That fire is roaring this way. There doesn't seem to be a lot we can do to stop it. Well, that's why I'm here, Bill. We can't leave. Can't? Yes, that's right. It's Susan's dog, Fred. Uh, he seems to know there's danger outside. He won't let him leave the house. Wow. Excuse me for listening, but I was just coming over. Henry, and... you can help out. Me? Go back to the Hanson. Help them get Prince out of the house. You can take the dog over to the ranger car. And keep him in there until the danger's past. But Bill, you I can thought... be the most help doing that, Henry. The fire is too tricky to have to worry about you. Go on now. Whatever you say. Come on, Mrs. Hanson. What's the matter, Henry? Oh, nothing. Uh, Prince uh, seems to know so much you almost forget he can't understand things like this. Uh-huh. Isn't Mr. Hanson home tonight? No, Henry. He's been put into a group who are spraying the homes in the area with water in case the fire gets this close. I think it will get this close, Mrs. Hanson. That little wind is pushing through the woods in this direction. Oh, well, we'll have time to get away, won't we, Henry? Oh, sure. Lots of time. As long as we keep right at it. Huh. That's funny. What is? There's a car there in front of our house. Now, I wonder who... Betty! Is that you? Oh, Claire, it's so good to see you. I heard about the fire coming this way, so I came to see if I could help. Susan told me you'd gone for someone. I suppose she told you about Prince. Yes. Oh, uh, this is Henry Scott. He's Ranger Bill Jefferson's ward. He's uh, come to help us get Susan out. How are you going to go about it? I don't know. Uh, Henry? I thought maybe I could take Prince into another room while you carried Susan out. After you were gone, I'd take him out. He'd probably come out a lot easier if Susan was gone. Mm-hmm. Yes, that sounds like as good an idea as Henry, Henry. I was to wait for you and Prince in the car. We'd better hurry. That fire is getting closer all the time. Everything all right, Mrs. Hanson? Yes, Bill. We're just waiting here for Henry to bring Prince out. Then we're driving... Oh, uh, Bill, you haven't met my friend Claire, have you? I'd like to when we have more time. Right now, I don't think uh, you'd better wait here for Prince. But Henry will bring him right out, Bill. He said he'd just be a minute. No time. That fire's about to jump out of those woods. I don't want even one civilian here when that happens. But what about Prince? We'll take care of him. Bring him over as soon as we can. Now, please get moving. Let's go, Betty. The rangers know what they're doing. Prince will be okay. Well, all right. Thanks, Bill. Do watch Prince. I'll keep Henry with him every minute. Now, hurry. Henry! Yes, Bill? Get Prince out of the house and into the ranger's car. On the double. I'll send Cal over to drive you to Mrs. Hanson's and Susan. I've got to get back to the fire. It's not waiting for anyone. (laughs) 
I know, Prince. Everybody's out there doing what they can to stop that big blade. While you and I are stuck in here just watching. Want to listen to the radio? Nah, I guess not. Besides, I forgot, this is a ranger car. The only radio in here is for police calls and things like that. Besides, Cal will be here in a minute. Take it easy, Prince. Boy, the way you watch your house over there. It's like the fire's getting closer to it all the time. You sure are a pretty dog. As smart as anything. We're a lot alike right now, you know, Prince. Here you are, a big, powerful, well-trained dog. And all you do is lead a little girl around. And here am I. I know all about fighting fires. But I'm stuck here watching you. Wow, look at the fire. It's come out of the woods. Looks like your house is gonna get it, Prince. Where's Cal? Bill said he would be right here. Easy, fella. It'd be no good going back to it now. You'd only be burned to death. Why are you trying to get out? Hey, what is it, Prince? You think little Susan is still in there? Is that it, fella? No, she isn't. We got her out. Hey, settle down, fella. Take it easy. Cal will drive us to Susan any minute now. Hey, Prince! Hey, come back here! Hey, don't go into that house! It's starting to burn! I've got to get him out of here. Wow, the whole house is exploding into flames. Prince, come out of there. Hey, maybe I can get in there. It's hard to breathe this close to the fire. It's so hot. Don't think I can get any closer. But got to get Prince. Got to get Prince. get here. Henry! Henry! That sounds like... Bill! <coughs> He's over here, here Stumpy! Hey, you all right, pal? I guess so. <coughs> I don't really know. You look like you might have swallowed a lot of smoke. Better get you over to the hospital. No, I'm all right, Bill. What happened? That's what I was going to ask you. We got back to the car, and you and Prince were gone. Is the young whippersnapper okay? I think we better take him to the hospital, Steffi. I don't think he looks too good. Yeah, a little <coughs> green in places where he ought to be pink, if you ask me. <coughs> Can you stand by yourself, pal? I guess so. <coughs> Here. Let's give him a hand, Stumpy. Okay. Here, there. How's that? I sure am dizzy. I'll carry you back to the car, Henry. Better get you over to the hospital on the double. That's right, Betty. They brought the boy in just a few minutes ago. No, I haven't heard a thing about Prince. But I don't think you'd better get your hopes up. Where? Oh, um, they found the boy in a field about a block away from your home. It looks like he got scared when the fire swept out of the woods and ran, leaving Prince on his own. Sure, Betty. I'll keep you up on whatever develops here. Oh, and uh, you and the family can stay at my place until you can find another house. Uh, sure, Betty. I wish I had better news.
Doctor says, other than a little smoke, you're in good shape, Henry. I want you to rest up here for a few days. Okay, Bill. I, uh... Don't know if this is the time to ask you or not, Henry. About Prince? If the dog was just a house pet, I wouldn't be so concerned, but he's... I was a seeing-eye dog and a little more than a pet. I haven't thought of anything else since, Bill. You want to talk about it? There isn't too much to say. I was sitting in the car with Prince when the fire jumped out of the woods and caught the Hanson's house. Mm -hmm. The dog was pretty nervous about the whole thing anyhow. But when he saw the house start on fire, he almost went crazy. Probably thought little Susan was still in there. That's what it looked like. Then all of a sudden, he must have hit the door handle the right way with his paw. He got out. He ran for the house. Then what happened? Well, he dashed into the burning house. I chased him and was going to go in after him when I guess I just got scared. The flames and noise. So hard to breathe. I guess you know. You've been in enough forest fires to know what it's like. Mm -hmm. Go on, pal. Well, I don't remember anything after that. Until I woke up in that field. Oh, I must have just turned tail and run like a coward. And you left Prince in there to burn? No. We didn't hear you come in, nurse. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have just spoken out like that, but... The Hansons are friends of mine, and... I understand. I... They're friends of ours, too. The dog? He's dead? I'm afraid so, nurse. I see. Uh, excuse me. Bill? Yes, Henry? That's the way everybody will feel when they find out, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I do. They'll say I was a coward, and I let Prince burn because I got scared and ran. All right, take it easy, Henry. Easy? How can I? I was feeling so big and important, thinking I'd be a great firefighter, and I ran away from the only chance I ever had to prove myself. That dog was more faithful than I was. He went right in when he thought little Susan was in trouble. You did your best, Henry. It wasn't good enough. I just let Prince die. God, you know that everyone in Naughty Pine is down on me since the fire. I don't blame them. I mess things up. Now everything looks pretty black, Lord. I need to know what to do about it. I've thought about running away, but I can't run away from myself. Susan needs a seeing eye dog, Lord. I know the Hansons can't afford to buy one. So please help me find a way to help them. And in helping them, maybe people will change their minds about me. How are you feeling these days, Henry? Haven't heard you say too much. Oh, pretty good, Stumpy. I still have that funny cough sometimes. I noticed. Uh, what you got there? Oh, my gas mask and air tank. <laughs> Looks like you got it all back in the box, the way it came. What are you fixing on doing? Gonna sell it. Sell it? But I thought... I don't think I'll need it anymore. So I thought I'd sell it. Besides, the Hansons could use the money for a new dog. Well, if that don't beat off... You really feel bad about that dog being burned, don't you? It was my fault. Maybe I can try to make it up to them a little. I don't know if I could do that if I was you. What do you mean? Well, knowing how the Hansons will probably feel toward you, I don't think I'd have the nerve to go over to them and hand them some money. I'm pretty scared to face them myself. But... Stumpy, I have to. That does it. 
I didn't believe it before, and I don't believe it now. In fact, I'm more sure of it than ever. What are you talking about, Stump? I'm talking about you, Henry. Any feller that would do what you are about to do, a straight, hard, honest thing like that, well, I just don't believe you got scared and ran away from the fire like folks think you did. But you know where you found me. I don't care what it looks like. I don't think you acted like the coward you think you did. I really appreciate the way you feel, Stumpy. But facts are facts. What facts? You know, it just occurred to me that we don't have any idea at all what you did. From the time you sort of blacked out till the time we found you in the field. It's pretty clear, Stumpy. I... Oh, uh, good. He's here. Come on in, folks. Uh, Mrs. Hanson. Hello, Henry. Stumpy. Howdy. Hi, uh, Bill. How are you? You too, Cal. Uh, I know Henry will be interested in what you have to say. Well, I believe you're right, Bill. Oh, uh, hi, Henry. Excuse me, Cal, but maybe I should say something right away before the rest of you get started. Mrs. Hanson, the only reason I haven't come over and told you how sorry I was about Prince, because I've been trying to figure out a way to get some money for you to buy a new dog. I don't think I can Henry. tell you how... Yes? Very sweet of you, Henry, but I don't think it'll be necessary. We've uh, found out a few things that you uh, maybe ought to know, Henry. Huh? Maybe you ought to tell him, Cal. <laughs> I don't know whether I ought to tell him or punch him in the nose. What? <laughs> you see this bruise on my cheek, Henry Scott? Well, you gave it to me. Me? When? I mean, how? <laughs> well, I was fighting with you to get you out of Hanson's house. You see, the way I figure it, when you went in after the dog, well, you almost got us both killed. But the field, how did I... Well, there was a whole lot going on about that time, so I didn't have time to do much more and take you out of the house and leave you far enough away from danger. I knew it! Now I hear tell, I think you ran out on things. I, I even hear you think so, too. We're awfully sorry to have lost Prince Henry, but we're even more sorry to have blamed you wrongly for the whole thing. Say, uh, what's this, pal? Looks like your gas mask and tank. That's what it is, all right. He was going out to sell that equipment. So he'd have some money to give Mrs. Hanson here. I have a feeling you'll need it one of these days now, Henry. You see, you never can tell when a fire is going to break out. And I've increased the number of firefighters by one experienced man. <laughs> You know, boys and girls, God never says he'll put us into the most important jobs, but he does expect us to do our best in the jobs we have. Well, see you next week for more adventure with Ranger Bill!